In this lesson, we'll look at an overview of the Systems tab, specifically plumbing and piping. So in Revit, on the ribbon, click the Systems tab. The area we'll focus on is almost in the middle, and it's in the area called Piping and Plumbing. Now before we look at the individual commands, let's look at the Plumbing and Piping settings. To the right of the word Plumbing and Piping, there's a drop-down arrow. Go ahead and click that arrow, and that will display the various mechanical settings. So go ahead and click Pipe Settings. Listed here are various settings and values. Click on Angles. This is where you can specify to use specific angles or use any angle that you want to create. Click Conversion. This is where I can set my different system classification by the drop down in the top right and then set settings for my main trunk of my plumbing line or any branches off of that main trunk. Click Segment and Sizes. This is where you can set nominal inside and outside diameters for various pipe settings and segments based on material. So in the drop down list on the very top, to the right of segment, this is where you can select your pipe type based on material, and then you can look at the various different sizes in the table below. You can also add new sizes or delete existing ones. Click Fluids. This is where you can set fluid names and then average temperatures and dynamic viscosity and density of each fluid. Clicking the drop down will display those fluids already in the system, or you can click the icon to the right to add a new fluid or to delete an existing fluid. Click Slopes. These are the allowable slopes for your various pipe runs within plumbing. And finally, click Calculation. This is where you can set the calculation for pressure drop and also for flow within piping systems. Go ahead and click OK. Now that was an overview of the actual piping and plumbing system settings. Now the functional commands for piping and plumbing are in that same area. So piping is our first actual command. Piping allows us to draw a rigid piping run from point A to point B. Horizontal, vertical, or slope pipes. Pipe placeholder allows you to create a pipe run without any elbows or any fittings. Those can later be turned into a pipe system with fittings. Parallel pipe allows you to create parallel pipes based on an initial pipe run that's already created. Pipe fittings. This allows you to place a pipe fitting, a T, an elbow into an existing pipe run. Pipe accessories. This is where you can drop in valves, different connectors within your piping system or your piping run simply by dragging and dropping. Flex pipe. This allows you to draw a flexible pipe. Plumbing fixtures. These are the fixtures you're allowed to place into the plumbing system. Now, note there's also additional plumbing fixtures that you may have used in the architectural system. Some of those don't actually have the intelligence built into them for supply lines, hot water, cold water, or your waste lines for removal. These plumbing fixtures have intelligence so they can connect the actual supply lines and waste lines, and you'll be able to analyze the system. Sprinkler. Sprinkler is basically what it says, allowing you to add a sprinkler head into the actual piping and plumbing system. So this was an overview of the Systems tab, primarily plumbing and piping, and looking at the settings for plumbing and piping, and the tools for creating plumbing and piping systems.